For several decades, scientists have thought that the solar system formed as a result of a shock wave from an exploding star, a supernova. The explosion triggered the collapse of a dense, dusty gas cloud that contracted to form the sun and the planets. Carried along the shock wave were short-lived radioisotopes, like Iron-60, which could come only from the nuclear furnaces of massive or evolved stars. Iron-60 decays into Nickel-60. These so-called daughter elements are found in primitive meteorites, which implies that the parent radioisotopes must have been created only a million or so years before the meteorites themselves were formed. Scientists have known where and when the parent isotope was made, but not precisely how it got to the solar system. Previous models by Carnegie Institution astrophysicist Alan Boss and former Department of Terrestrial Magnetism fellow Prudence Foster showed that the isotopes could be deposited into a pre-solar cloud if a shock wave from a supernova explosion slowed to 6 to 25 miles per second and the wave and cloud had a constant temperature of minus 440 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Kelvin. Previous models predicted a shock front striking a pre-solar cloud with the mass of our Sun producing temperatures as high as 1340 degrees Fahrenheit or 1000 degrees Kelvin. In the absence of cooling, the cloud could not collapse. However, incorporating a new cooling law revealed that after 100,000 years, the pre-solar cloud was 1,000 times denser than before, and that heat from the shock front was rapidly lost, resulting in only a thin layer with temperatures close to 1340 degrees Fahrenheit. After 160,000 years, the cloud center had collapsed to become a million times denser, forming a protosun, the researchers found that isotopes from the shock front were mixed into the proto-sun in a manner consistent with their origin in a supernova.